¡No hay nadie aquí! ¡Esta también está vacía! I would have to wait. I had more pressing concerns. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Tasso's had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. I had a way of making any space my own. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. Or maybe someone... The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it. Whatever it was. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel.
the radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Oye, un poco de cobertura! Avance, avance! Muere, pendejo! Mi brazo no! So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was past. It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened.
I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The boat was well appointed. Guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place I'd ever known. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. Miguel, ven para acá! There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? Ah! 